What do you think about the Buffalo Rochester connection when it came to hip hop? You know, back then as opposed to now. Back then we wasn't really fucking with Buffalo. <laughs> right. we, was like, we was like, nah, we don't fucking with Buffalo at all, man. But right. at some point, you know, it it um it just changed, and it and it, it I think Dublin. Dublin was a good a, one of the good one of the reasons when they used to bring up acts from Buffalo right. here and perform and so um, yeah. that's kind of like what bridged it because before that nah they didn't want to fuck with them we wasn't, they wasn't fucking with us we were fucking with them mm -hmm. and then it just I think Dublin did it if I if I if if I'm not wrong if I'm wrong someone correct me but right. I believe Dublin did that shit man. right yeah do you do you, does Buffalo have a place where they could you know, perform like a double. Sure they do. I'm sure they do. I don't I'm know. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I'm sure they do. If they don't, I'll be surprised because a lot of them came down here, like weekly. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any of us ever going there performing like that. Yeah. I just, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't think I really don't know. I think they did have a place. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. That's a fucking question, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Yes, I'm gonna ask that question. What did they just ever go to Buffalo to perform? Right. Yeah, but I mean, but I think really, to be honest, that's what bridged the gap in Dublin. Man, because Rich Corps Buffalo was on fire with the Griselda movement. Yeah, that like, came around. 38 like, right now is on fire yeah. with the rock, along with, you know. That's dope. Their, their union bridging it too, even solidifying the bridge though, you know what I'm saying, between the two right? because now we don't even say Buffalo in, in, in Rochester, we say upstate you know what I'm saying, which is cool